let's see why do we avoid one hot encoding of categorical features in decision trees in the previous videos we have seen that how does a decision tree split on categorical features specifically on nominal categorical features in one of the methods we have seen that decision tree computes the impurity for all the possible 2 power k minus 1 minus 1 partitions and choose the one with the least impurity value. But we have seen that this method will become inefficient with the increase in cardinality. That is if the cardinality or the number of distinct categories keeps increasing, then this method will become inefficient. In that case, we have seen a different approach called the supervised ratio method, where we convert all the distinct categories into numerical form. In this case, we try to reduce the complexity from 2 power k minus 1 minus 1 to k. Okay. But, uh, you know, in order to convert the categorical values into numerical values, there are many other techniques also. So, one of the famous techniques is one hot encoding. Even this method also, let's say binary tree only to compute, you know, k distinct uh, uh, features. That is like uh, the impurity for k, di k different combinations. But we usually avoid this technique in decision trees. Okay. So before understanding on why do we avoid this technique in decision trees, let's understand what is one hot encoding in simple terms. Okay. So let's consider a simple feature F4 where we have four distinct categories in this feature. Those are A, B, C, and D. So if we apply one hot encoding on this categorical feature, first it will create four distinct new features. Those are A, B, C, and D, where each feature represents each category. Okay. So all the values in these features can either be one or can be zero. Okay. So this is very simple technique. So wherever you have a category value as A, you just put one under that feature. Okay. So if category is A, we put one under feature A and zero under other features. Similarly, if category is B, we put one under feature B and zero under other features. So for any given category, only one of these features will have the value as one and all the other features will have the values as zeros. That's why we call it as a one hot encoding technique. Okay. So you might think what happens if the cardinality increases? That is, if the number of distinct values increases to a large number, in that case, we had to create, you know, K new distinct features. Okay. But that leads to a famous problem in data science called curse of dimensionality. Okay. So if the cardinality increases, the number of features will increase. So that will lead to a famous problem called curse of dimensionality. Okay. Like this is an inherent problem in one hot encoding. But in this video, let's try to keep that aside and let's try to only think the problem from the decision tree's point of view. Okay. So to understand that more, let's try to construct a decision tree for this simple data for a categorical feature with four distinct values. Okay. What do we do? So initially, we try to compute the impurity for all the all the values. That is, we try to compute the impurity for feature A, similarly for feature B, feature C, feature D. Let's say among all these four distinct features, let's say that feature B have less impurity. So let's make it as a node. Okay, I am making feature B as a node. So if it is B, it will go to left hand side. If it is not B, it will go to right hand side. That is, if B is equal to one, it go to right hand, left hand side. If B not equal to one, it go to the right hand side. Okay. So now what happens if B is equal to one? If B is equal to one, we know that only one of these values can be one for any given row. So if B is equal to one, the other values can never be one. Okay. So if B is equal to one, if you look the values for A, C and D, the values in these sets will always be like, will all the values will be zero. Okay, all the values will be zero. So there is no point of expanding this tree to the left hand side. Okay, so there is no point of expanding it this side. Okay, now let's think what if b is equal to zero? 
So if B is equal to zero, we know that uh, the one of the other features can become one. So now we'll compute the impurity for A, C, and D. Let's say that uh, A resulted in the less impurity, okay? Let's say that A resulted in the less impurity, okay? We know that if B is equal to zero, then either A can become one or A can become zero, okay? If A becomes one, then there is no chance that C or D will become one. So we can stop the expansion here. But if A is also zero, there is a chance that C or D can become one. Let's say that among C and D, C has a less impurity. Okay, so now we grow the tree in this way. Again, it will be one or zero. If C is zero, we know that D, sorry, if C is one, we know that D cannot be one. So we stop it here. But if C is zero, then D can be one or zero. So if you observe this tree, so we have resulted in a very skewed tree which is growing in only one direction. If you observe this closely, this tree is only growing in the zero direction. Okay. So this is a skewed tree. So when you have these kind of features, it will result as in a skewed decision trees. Okay. So skewness is one of the problems. Okay. So, and along with the skewness, okay, let's try to think um, a different scenario. Okay. Uh, in this case, okay, we have four distinct categories. Those are A, B, C, and D. Let's say that all these four distinct categories are equally distributed in the feature F4. That is, A is occurring 25% of the times, B is occurring 25% of the, of the time, similarly for C and D. I'm saying equal distribution, equal uniform distribution. That is, every category will have an equal chance of appearing in this in this feature. That is one by four chance, as we have four categories. So, in this case, if you observe the number of ones in this feature, how many ones will we have? So, it will be 25% of ones in any of the feature. Okay. Let's say that instead of having four distinct categories, let's say you have eight distinct categories. Okay. Let's say you have eight distinct categories. In that case, each of the feature will have only one by eight percentage of, you know, ones. So if the K keeps increasing, the K keeps increasing, the number of ones keeps decreasing. So if K keeps increasing, the number of ones in, number of ones in any one hot encoded feature will keep decreasing. So in this kind of scenario, you will end up with more zeros in a feature than ones. You know, in that case, the variance of this feature will be very less. In those cases, if we compute the impurity for these one hot encoded features, the impurity will be very high. The impurity will be very high. So if the impurity will be very high, what happens? If the impurity is very high, then these nodes, I mean, these features will never be close to the root node. That is, these features will lose its importance. The feature importance keeps decreases. Okay. So for these features, the feature importance keeps decreases. You know, uh, actually, this feature F4 might be a very important feature in determining the target variable. But one hot encode in this feature, we have lost the importance of this feature. Okay. So that's why we usually avoid one hot encoding of categorical features in case of decision trees. Okay, thank you.